The last thing to burn is a claustrophobic thriller set on a small farm in the UK. So it's a very tense story. Chapter one, but the book opens with a very short line. I'm not going back. First lines are incredibly important to me. I think they're incredibly important to most writers. Um, if you think of Home Going by Yagi Asi or The Road by Cormac McCarthy, those first lines set the tone for the whole book. So the first line of this book is, I'm not going back. That is in essence what the entire book is about. It's about her resilience and her survival and her getting away. By the way, please excuse if you see vapor from my breath. I'm in my writing cabin. I live in a forest in Sweden. It's like minus 15 outside and it's not that much warmer inside. The destination is there. I can see it, but it's not getting any closer. Again, that is in essence what this story is about. The destination is always there. In contrast to Room and Misery, two books I admire and love a great deal, here the protagonist can always see what she wants to get. She's not chained up, she can see, she can walk around this farm cottage, she can see safety, she can see the future, but it's always just out of her reach. How the trucks are transporting cabbages and sugar beet, and the cars ferrying fruit pickers. This is a very rural location very low population density. Things can get hidden, potentially for years. I have my fiver, his fiver, my ticket out of this flatland hell. This is the worst place in the world for her right now. And she's had a tough life in many ways, but she's always had identity. She's always had, always had autonomy over her own body. She's always had privacy. She's always had the power to make some money and to spend that how she sees fit and that's been taken away from her and the idea of this fiber this five pound note that's hidden in her hair that's potentially her ticket out of this place but it's his five pound note because possession is another theme of the book he possesses so many things including in a sense her every step is a mile etched aches and new pains melt into red hot misery beneath my right knee i didn't want to kind of hide away from pain and from descriptions of pain. I want to read us to understand that she, she had to get away from this life and this place. He walks without speaking, his shoulder pressing into my waist, hard and plateaued. He holds me with no force. His power is absolute. He needs no violence at this moment because he controls everything that I can see. So this is, in a sense, a very tense thriller, but it's also a story of hope and family and love and resilience. 